welcome welcome youtubers good morning good evening good night to those people all around the world who view my videos i am on the beach at mount twin this morning it's a lovely morning it's very peaceful i'm not seeing anyone else around and i love it like this because you can connect with the ocean, you can connect with the sky, you can connect with nature, and I love it, it's beautiful. Anyhow, I'm here this morning to speak to you on a topic, how you can block your own blessings. My people, I'm going to get straight to the point this morning without much ado. We all are blessed in one way or the other. But Jehovah's vault is flowing with an abundance, an excess, and he wants us also to enjoy that excess. There are blessings upon blessings that are in store for us. And we can receive those blessings but there are some factors that if you are not careful, you will never have those blessings. You might not be even able to see or touch or even hear about those blessings. So, as I said, to get straight to the point, we can block our blessings to being too talkative. Why are you so talkative? I have seen it on social media so many times. Everything that you do, you go on social media and you talk about it. You talk so much that you talk out your own ideas. You talk out your own opportunities. And guess what? The monitors are listening. They are listening because that is the monitor's assignment. I am going to anchor that in a scripture reading. Proverbs 21, 23 that says, Whosoever keepeth his mouth and his tongue will keep his soul forever and keep his soul from trouble that scripture reading is very very powerful because if you keep your mouth and you tend to listen more you will also keep your soul from trouble oh my god sometimes you got to keep your stuff to yourself if you want to be at the top if you want to be at the forefront because there are enemies and there are frenemies and these days you don't even know how they're coming because we're living in the last days and it is a spiritual world so my people be cautious of what you say even if you want to go to a deserted place and jump up because god has granted you this idea go and jump up like you're crazy in a place where nobody will hear you because there are listening ears out there and a friend always have another friend and who tell you that friend might like you these days people watching you and liking and disliking you for nothing so you got to be careful with your mouth so be quiet in the midst of the ideas in the midst of opportunities in the midst of goals in the midst of your achievements stay quiet secondly some people can block their own blessings through the spirit of unbelief. For example, there are many prophets that had come to our country. Many prophets had prophesied over some persons and you will hear them say, that is a false prophet because the, prophet, the prophecy has not come to pass. It does not mean that because the prophecy has not come to pass, he or she is a false prophet. What you don't know when a prophecy is released over your life, there are agents, physical agents, satanic agents who might be present and who will be ready to shut you down at any cost. Listen, we are in a world 
ruled by Ephesians 6 12 where we have to fight even to make sure our prophecies manifest some of our prophecies are lying over our heads for years it's not that the prophet was false you just did not know what to do when the prophecy was released so it is there hanging over your head for years because you have never brought it into manifestation you yourself you have to play a part in its release have you prayed prayed to release it out of the hands of demonic agents no they cannot block your blessings but they can certainly delay it number three another reason why you can block your own blessings it is true yes the power of believing you believe but no action again is taken you scared to put one foot forward you have an idea but because you in your mind you have not freed your mind of certain negativities you have a belief that it will not work right you believe in the idea but you still have a belief that this will not work so you believe that it will not work it's certainly physically in the physical it will not work because you have already thought or uh, you have a contrary spirit that you work with you believe it in one hand because the idea has popped up and you think it will be a success but then you fail to take action to take one step forward to ensure that it is a success you scared of putting one foot forward do you know when you put one foot forward god will do the rest he don't expect us to finish everything but he expect you at least to start you start and you begin to pray some warfare prayers that will go into the second heavens it will reach second heavens at this point we will not be paying, praying any baby prayers anymore because remember a higher level means a different devil a higher level means a, a different type of devil so you take action you take spiritual action and you take physical action so my people my people you have an idea i encourage you to think positively the kingdom of darkness are working they are working every day to ensure you fail but when you really think about it they don't have the final say you have the final say in what you do through the knowledge that you have and through the power not only power but the authority that has been granted in you through the Lord Jesus Christ it takes faith faith is not only a belief word it is a do word you got to do the master of the universe the El Shaddai the Adonai the Alpha and the Omega the Sabotoir Jehovah Gibba in the midst of your enemies he will finish it so step out in faith you got an idea you put it forward you know it came from the right the correct direction you pray over the idea and you take action another way that persons can stop their own blessings it is true this is a physical factor the inability to manage what they presently have in the correct manner I'm going to give you an example for this point do you know many of us are kingdom finances do you many of us operates with a gift 
many of us have a purpose on this earth that we have not really try to identify you but and I would not tell you what is mine at this point but I have recognized my purpose a long time ago because I was in connection with the things around me I'm a very observant person and I am in touch with the spiritual for it to take place now However, my example is that some persons, for example, they might have $3,000 today. But behold, nothing of an emergency had popped up. But by tomorrow midday, you're scrambling for that $3,000 that was given to you. Why? why what did you do you can't remember what you did three thousand dollars you don't have the big seven deaths you have nothing god is watching he is saying i have sent my servant i have sent angel gabriel with a gift to you and you have chosen to mismanage my funds I have a million dollars, even more, because you are a kingdom financer. It is there, waiting to be released. But if you cannot manage $3,000, how will you be able to manage $1 billion? So, management of what, proper management of what you have currently is important for your blessings to manifest. For you not to create your own stumbling blocks, Management is essential. So, people of God, after careful introspection, myself, after careful assessment and observation, these are some of the core key points of why certain persons block their own blessings especially number two it's not every prophet that is false you just want to stay in egypt and yes you want to stay in egypt and continue for they to stack the piles of orders on your head you don't want to go to the land of milk and honey so immediately the prophet began to prophesy the prophet is a false prophet because nothing from before ever come to pass really and you with your ignorant self because you're not using discernment you refuse even to push your hands up to accept the word from the prophets because in your mind the mind is the playground of the enemy it is the playground of satan you refuse to believe so how can you step out of egypt into canaan my people enjoy now is the time to enjoy Canaan and these factors I present to you this morning they are true ensure that you put that you do not put these factors into action but create the opposite of what I just told you in order for your blessings to manifest and for in order to you for you to enjoy the goodness of this land i said thank you thank you my subscribers thank you for subscribing to this channel once more and thank you for liking my videos don't forget to share and don't forget to press the notification button for more interesting videos and right now i am gonna take a dive into the ocean thank you people and have a wonderful day see you again with another video thank you